You see, people that have that difficulty with hallucinations and having to go to another world, it's because they've innocently created so much chronic mental stress that really there's only one source of mental illness. It's called chronic mental stress. It's chronically taking this incredibly, these gifts of mind, thought, and consciousness and innocently, innocently using themselves against ourselves with worry, guilt, resentment, upset, overanalyzing, unresolved grief, envy, uh, drivenness, and, and taking away the gift of, of peace and joy that, that God has given us in an innocent way. Well, as we do that, as people do that 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day, it has incredible ramifications biologically. And even now, the whole field of epigenetics, where when people get stressed out for more than 30 minutes, they literally start affecting their gene expression and often turning off healthy genes and health protective genes and activating illness gene. So, you know, that, that's what I'll say to that, that, that I, I had one lady who had been maintained on about 1,500 milligrams of lithium that had kept her generally out of the hospital except every once in a while, that once she got truly peaceful, I had to keep lowering the lithium dose until we finally had to stop it completely because she could no longer take even a half a tablet without getting sick, 150 milligrams. She could not take without getting signs of what we would call lithium toxicity, uh, nausea, diarrhea, upset stomach, because why now, now her balance was coming from the inside, not from the outside. Biochemical imbalance can be starts with as little as two to three minutes of upsetting thinking. Now, if we stop after two to three minutes, our, we come back. We come back in less than two to three minutes. But if people get stuck in chronic state of mental stress, it has incredible ramifications for their physical, mental, and spiritual well-being.